Good morning, battery lovers. Did you brush your teeth today? Because today it's Christmas Eve here in Sweden and I couldn't help myself because I just found out how the DeWalt Flex changes the voltage and it's a mechanical switch. I thought with all these electronics, I was sure there was something in here that was switching, but it's a mechanical switch. I managed to find a YouTube video on a different version of this BMS. So I will try and dig out the manual switcher. I just wanna clean this up a little bit first. So the switch is, is located under here. He had to desolder these terminals to get it out, but this is unpowered, so I can just do this. Now he had a different version where the flex, flex cable goes around the bottom and up here, and here the flex cable is in the way. So I will cut this off, so I don't think you can remove it any other way. He, he also removed this silicone pad, but he said a lot of the components broke off. Here you can actually desolder it, but I will cut it for now. Yeah, I think we can remove the cover. Yeah, I have so many of these PMS, so I don't mind destroying one. Wait, was the PMS loose? Okay, we can just remove it now. And here we can also see that none of these six leads go through the BMS at all. So it's definitely not a BMS. Yes. And here are the connections. And there is some type of grease on the connection pads. Uh, but if your 18 volt battery won't switch to uh, 56 volt, then it's probably a problem with these connectors. So let's map this out and check that what you're actually doing. what happens when we have the switch in the first position but why is six hiding out here do, do, do it have another six that one is also six it has two connection points now it makes sense because two and four are connected and pin two and six are connected so all of these cell groups are connected with all of these cell groups making it parallel and as you know, when you switch it just a little bit down, you reach this middle point where nothing is connected to nothing and the power is off. And then we move to the 60 volt version uh, where we don't have pin five or pin two. We just have three, six and four. Wait, what? I think I know what. No, I thought those were connected to each other. Those are the outputs. It's amazing how it works and that it works. And since it's a mechanical switch, it should be fairly repairable. Okay, they are spring connected. Mm -hmm. 